Now to the popular tourist attraction that is attracting some Americans seeking an escape amid the pandemic. Croatia bucking the EU travel ban, allowing people from the U.S. to enter as long as they have a negative coronavirus test. And some are taking advantage. Maggie Ruley made the trip. She's joining us now from Croatia and has much more. Good morning, Maggie. Hey, Robin, good morning. I mean, yeah, just take a look at this view. This is some aerial footage we got during our last few days here in Dubrovnik, and you see it. You can see why so many Americans want to make the trip to Croatia. Last year alone, more than 600,000 made the trip. But, Robin, obviously, this year is not a normal year. So while Americans are allowed, getting here is going to take some extra effort and some extra risk. This morning, there is at least one place in the world welcoming Americans with open arms. The stunning ancient Game of Thrones inspiring landscape of Croatia. Croatia or bust. After the European Union announced a ban on all travelers from the United States, Croatia broke ranks, becoming the only country in the EU to allow American tourists. Aaron Harrison jumped at the chance to leave the U.S. and travel abroad this summer. But the process isn't easy. To enter Croatia, you must have proof that you tested negative for COVID-19 no more than 48 hours before entering the country. So I just got back from um, having my test. I also even got the antibody test, so I'm double prepared no matter what. And show where you're staying. We meet Erin as she crosses the border. Hello, it's so good to meet you. I know, I'll give you a hug. Hi, hi. So after all of that work, what was it like when you actually crossed the border and made it to Croatia? There's nothing like it when you see those beautiful cliffs and, you know, you're, you're landing and then you kind of get a little bit of antsy in your stomach and then, then it's all good. And everything I did was worth it. Flights into the seaside tourist mecca of Dubrovnik are already up more than 300% in just the past few weeks. But medical experts caution that even if borders are open, traveling still poses a danger. Bottom line is this might not be the year to take one of those long trips. It's better if you do a staycation or you go on a road trip with your family. For Stacy and Darren Shaw, who just flew in from Phoenix, they say the risk is worth it. It was worth the risk for us. I mean, we're willing to take all of these precautions. And tell us the next time they travel, they bring the whole family. We didn't bring our kids this time, but we normally do, and we get to share that with them, and we don't want that part of our life to stop. While some locals say they're worried about welcoming people from hot spots like the U.S., a local infectious disease expert tells us that she believes no tourist has brought the virus to Dubrovnik so far, that the entire country currently has about 800 cases and fewer than 20 in Dubrovnik. For many people who work in the tourism industry here, they say whatever the risk, the economic upside is worth it. They were always good spenders, so they always liked Americans more, preferred Americans than the others. The number of Americans visiting Croatia just continues to increase year after year. Last year, they started up a direct flight for the very first time between the two countries. Now, this has all come to a near standstill, but the country hopes that by opening up their borders at least a little bit, they could save their tourism industry this summer. Robin. Well, Maggie, it does look absolutely stunning, beautiful. Uh, what is it like for you being on, on the ground there? We know the travel restrictions. It wasn't easy to get there. What more are you hearing from the Americans who have made the trip there, too? Yeah, well, Robin, nearly every American we've spoken to says the same thing. The trip, the effort, it was all worth the risk. But they also stress that they took all of the precautions necessary, not only to make sure that they don't catch the virus, but to make sure they don't spread it once they come here. Uh, Robin, though, I have to say, being here in Croatia, it's also a little nerve-wracking to be somewhere that is so open to so many tourists from around the world. It's sort of become a test case, and now we're just waiting to see what happens. Robin? It is on my list to travel to. I'm not sure I'll, what I'll be able to check it off the list, but it is on my list. But hey, travel safely. Good to see you, Maggie. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Thanks, Robin. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.